I like to think of my practice as a departure from dogma. I originally trained as an artist and a philosopher and developed a love for beauty, which is the most accessible manifestation of Plato's form of the good. What I do with plastic surgery is try to restore the shapes, the space, and more importantly, the negative space. Light reflexes that signal to the brain, this is an attractive young face. Seeing my patients is really my greatest joy in life. When a patient comes to my practice, they really become part of my family. I spend a lot of time getting to know who they are and why they're coming to see me. I get to see them go out into the world with these subtle changes I've given to them to bring out their external beauty. And somehow it usually compounds and brings out something beautiful inside of them as well. My background in craniofacial surgery is one of the things I treasure the most. A lot of people think that you go to a reconstructive surgeon or an aesthetic surgeon. But in my opinion, a true reconstructive surgeon and a true aesthetic surgeon are one and the same. It was through understanding how to make an eye on a child born without an eye that they became excellent at making normal eyes beautiful. And since your knowledge and your foundation goes so far beyond what you're doing, you're able to think in different ways, adjust your technique, do the right thing for the patient. There are very few times that I ever do the same procedure twice because the patient's tissues, aesthetics, morphological features might mandate something different. And that's the beautiful thing about plastic surgery because plastic surgery truly is the art of the impossible. It's one and the same and I could not be the aesthetic surgeon I am today without my craniofacial experience. I don't believe that wrinkles are aesthetic problems. For the simple fact that there's not a beautiful person in the world that would be ugly with a wrinkle, and there's not an ugly person in the world that would be beautiful if you took the wrinkles away. What is looked at by the brain and eye is the general shape of the face, the position of the eyelids, brow and nose, and then other features like the lips and the jawline. So when someone comes to me and wants their lips done or their nasal labial fold filled, I have to spend some time uneducating them. Uneducating them to the notion that fillers are to make a line next to your mouth go away. In my hands, fillers are to balance the face. And I lean heavily on my craniofacial background and my understanding of what it takes to create a beautiful face. Look back.